Hello, everyone. I am coming before you um, on January the 4th, 2024, and I have uh, something to talk about. I have released in prayer, uh, released in prayer, released copies of the prayers uh, that I had in community again. And the reason why I'm doing that is because of some things that Father God has asked us to pray about. And there are some things going on in uh, Europe, um, po uh, Poland, and different places like that that we're going to talk about because it's very necessary that we continue to pray. And as always, like, share, and subscribe, and thank all of you new subscribers. It is so amazing to see how I have all of the new subscribers on, and so I want to thank you so very much. But listen to um, what's going on right now. As we are in need to desperately pray, this affects everyone around the world. Um, it does not matter where you are or what position that you may be in or not uh, be in. It doesn't matter who you are, wealthy, poor, uh, rich, whatever. It's going to affect every one of us. And this is why I believe that Father God has had us since 2022 really covering these things in prayer. And so I want to share a scripture that comes out of Ephesians 6 and 18. It says, Amplified Bible, with all prayer and petition, pray with specific requests at all times, on every occasion, and in every season in the Spirit. And with this in view, stay alert with all perseverance and petition, interceding in prayer for all God's people. And I wanted to talk quickly, and I won't be on here long, about the farmers and how Father God has asked us uh, since 2022 to cover the farmers. And I really didn't understand at the time the real significance of praying for the farmers, but I had find myself at times really pouring out my spirit, uh, my heart and my spirit in, in intercession over the farmers to the point of tears. Um, just really grieved and praying over the farmers. And now I'm understanding why. I don't know if many of you are have been paying attention to the things that are on YouTube. There, it's not in the American news, but it is on uh, YouTube uh, channels with, new, with the news in that uh, capacity. But they're talking about uh, Belgium, um, Poland, and different areas and how they are, uh, the farmers are protesting. And they're having a massive protest over there about their land, about um, um, not having the efficient uh, supplies that they would need for farming and not having the, the, the uh, resources that's needed. And these are things that Father God has been asking us to pray since 2022 about the farmers. But I have some key things that I want to bring up. Uh, one of them, I want to talk about this thing called net zero. Uh, net zero is trying to bring about a change uh, by the year 2030. Uh, and we're going to talk specifically about farming. Because net, this thing called net zero, the net zero agenda for 2030. Um, it says, uh, let's see, they will come against the farmers around the world. Uh, the lie is that they're using the emissions, uh, through, uh, the, the farming equipment and the emissions through how the, uh, cattle and whatnot releases, um, bodily fluids. Uh, well, you know, uh, uh, manure. So they're saying that this is causing 30% of the emissions around the world through farming. Now, I'm going to disagree with that because I don't think it's, it's 30%. It may be 10 or 15%. But this is something that they're using in a, a way to uh, come against the farmers and bring out a uh, ruckus uh, to 
hold the farmers accountable for 30 percent of the uh, the uh, admissions around the world and i don't think that that's the case i, I really believe that that is uh fabricated um and then let's talk about this the one who who controls the food supply controls the people and the one who controls the energy can control the whole continent and those that control the money controls the world so we have to look at some key things here in wondering why Father God has asked us to pray over the farmers. Number one, praying over the farmers will keep us secure. And I say us because I haven't got there yet, but I'm I'm going into my position as uh, in agriculture. Um so you, when we ask the question, who will con control the food supply? Well, Father God wants his people controlling the food supply. He has asked us to continue to pray over the farmers and covering them, sending out God angel armies over uh, the, po the politicians that passes bills where there's solutions that need to be or bills passed, money's being released, whatever that may uh, uh, be to aid and support farmers is what we should be praying for. Uh, two, if we're not in control of our own agriculture and our food, then we are, uh, uh, then we're not able to do what's needed, uh, from, uh, Father God in building, um, the communities around the world where we won't be able to be in position to feed many people when that time comes. Number three, what will we be eating if Warren Buffett's of the world and, and the Bill Gates of the world are buying up all the farmland and we're having to eat produce and meat and, and, and dairy from them? It's going to be tainted, or will it be even real meat or real produce? And so we have to look at uh, why <laughs> they're using this 30% admissions as an excuse to come against the farmers. If they control 90% of farmland and the uh, around the world and the other 10% is uh medium and small farming they control the people they control the food supply they control who lives and who don't live what areas will be wiped out and what areas won't be wiped out and so this is the problem and as i have been seeing these videos and listening to them, going before Father God in prayer and uh, seeking him on the behalf of the farmers about these things. We don't know how to pray unless we see it and understand it as Father God releases it. And so now we have a bigger picture of what's going on with farming and agriculture. This is an area that Father God will not allow for man to take control of farming. But we have to do our part. Our part is prayer. We have to intercede over agriculture, over farmers. We have to pray that uh, bills are passed, that uh, uh, revenue is released, that those that are passing bills are handpicked by God. One of the other things that Father God said that he will put, stop, I'm talking to my puppy, that he will put into place um, people to put in position, people that he has handpicked uh, from his heart. Go away. Excuse me. <laughs> He's over here. She's over here harassing me. <laughs> Praise God. And so we have to understand that Father God wants to put key people into position uh, that passes bills that have anything to do with bills being uh, signed into um, Senate and Congress. And so he's removing a lot of people. He, he, he will remove a lot of different ones and replacing them across the board, around the world. You remember when I had us praying about those that are in Australia and how they were stealing, the politicians are stealing so much money they're putting uh, in overseas accounts. 
and how Father God uh, wants to expose them. But we have to release God angel armies out into the atmosphere that they go and expose these different areas. Um, he was wanting to, uh, we've been praying over the politicians in America and how we need them uh, to be exposed as well, that Father God can remove those that need to be removed and replace them with uh, people that is after Father God's heart. So this is a this, this is an area. We've also been praying over uh, uh, the U uh, United Kingdom. Excuse me, I'm about to say Ukraine, but the United Kingdom, and how he is wanting to continue to allow the. Uh, uh, shipments, the boats that are bringing in supplies and goods of uh, food and whatnot into the United Kingdom, that they are staying safe. We're seeing the shipments being uh, targeted in the Red Sea and how they have had to go about and realign the shipments to go into a different area to port in different places and how they're probably going to have to bring those uh supplies in a different way once they do port but i've talked about the shipments um especially from china because of the rift that we're having in america uh, with china they will eventually stop allowing shipments to come here and this is where father god is asking for many of us to contemplate building supply stores and supply chains these are areas that he is he's he's given us blueprints he is showing us how to pray. He has given us, uh, through the videos, all of the videos that I have, 400 and plus videos, are talking about the, the heart of God and how he is wanting to release each and every one of us handpicked that he can trust with, with revenue, monies, resources, land, housing, commercial property, those that he can trust. He tried to do it through the church through the leaders and but they did not do uh in Malachi what is that chapter three where talk when it talks about will a man rob God, he is talking about the leaders. So the leaders have done wrong for so many years, not building the kingdom. So now Father God is going back in and handpicking and selecting those that he can trust to release the wealth transfer to. I have many people that, that wants to come against me and fight me about this, but I cannot go against what the Lord, what Yahweh is saying, that what he wants to release. Because uh, to tickle ears and to paint a pretty picture for people, I can't do that. I have to be about uh, speaking the heart of God and releasing those things into the atmosphere and also speaking to God's people about what he wants us to cover in prayer and how as he gives instructions and direction. And so this is one of the things that I wanted to release uh, on this Sunday evening or afternoon about uh, farming and how very important it is for us to cover agriculture, covering the farmers, interceding uh, over the farmers, even to the point to where we're grieved in our spirit that God angel armies are activated out to cover in the atmosphere and war for the farmers war for their uh, uh, reformations, a uh, war over the uh, revenue and monies and solutions and supplies being released. The admissions that they're saying is 30% of, of uh, agriculture is not the truth. It is just not the truth. Admissions is coming from, that's, that's one of the things that it could be, but it's a very small percentage. We have to realize that the greed of man is to take over the world and uh, and allow uh, the people of the world to only be dependent up on them. Father God says that he's calling us to build um, a kingdom uh, on earth, that we build communities that only function after his heart, that only functions as he releases for uh, us to do. And we are to be a kingdom unto ourselves. We're not supposed to be a part of the world system and the, the world supply chain. We are to have our own systems. And we should have had this years ago. But because of the greed of man, the greed of the leaders, the greed of the pastors, it was not built the way the Father God has 
uh, ordained for the kingdom to be built here on earth. And so now he has to go in and remove leaders, uh, so expose leaders. Uh, you know, he has said so many things within the different uh, prophetic word that he's given me, how he is turning his back on some because they will not repent. They will not do what is right. They will not follow uh, his leading and his instructions and his uh, assignments. They're doing their own. And we even, even with that, he has said that he's cleaning the house on the social medias with all of these voices that are speaking uh, uh, words that are tickling to the ears, uh, feeding the flesh, uh, uh, stroking the emotions. He's shutting these people down because he wants substance, wholeness, stability, spoken, true salvation released, healing, uh, uh, signs, wonders, and miracles, healing and deliverance. These things can't come through false prophets false teaching. It can't come that way. If we're looking for Father God to move as he is and will be, as we're uh, looking for the, the multitude of those that will flood into the house of God, then he has to have us in position to receive them. And we have to be able to do it by his heart and everything that he speaks from his throne. We have to be obedient. I haven't been on because uh, the last few uh, days I have been under an attack, a uh, harassing spirits. Father God spoke to me and said that that's what I was dealing with was harassing spirits. And so I'm thankful to be back on before you guys. And I want to thank all you new subscribers uh, from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I ask that you like, share, and subscribe as always. Like, share, and subscribe this video, especially because we need to cover the farmers. We need to keep them in prayer, uh, laboring before Father God and releasing God's angel armies out on the behalf of agriculture. Until the next video, and oops, oh, excuse me, hopefully I will see you on uh, tomorrow, of, uh, the second day of the week, Monday. Have a blessed evening. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach.